yeah, so I have like, I guess, multiple people that inspire me, but um, one that like came to mind is like, most of us know Jennifer Downa, who won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry this year. It's like the power of women being able to be in science, um, despite like barriers previously, um, and someone who like basically kind of discovered this really cool system that you can use for treatment, experimental strategies, um, et cetera, and won the Nobel Prize from it. And I think like specifically what she comes to mind to me is I was for a while, like in undergrad, I was interested in biochemistry and like biomedical sciences, but I was also interested in math and computer science and like biomedical engineering was like a perfect integration of that. So when I was at, I was at the American Chemical Society meeting in 2017, and then she was one of the invited speakers there. And I remember like, I, I think there was like a poster session and we didn't have time to like actually go to the beginning of the lecture, but I was like, I really, really want to see her speak because I heard about CRISPR and it was like first becoming more popular. So we made it to the lecture and like, I heard what she said and I, it was like really, really cool. Um, and like, I didn't read so much about CRISPR, but then when I, in the lab that I joined, my first project for my rotation was using CRISPR um, to knock out a gene in cells. And like, I was reading the multiple papers about CRISPR and like the protocol. And I was like, wow, this is like so cool that I can engineer cells. And like, that was the side of biomedical engineering that I really liked. And I thought that was like super, super cool. And then like, then this year when she won the Nobel prize, then I thought like it was a really cool, um, full circle and like was really interesting. Um, and then the second person that inspires me is the head of the Immunology Institute at Mount Sinai, Mary Murad. Um, she also like helps encourage me um, to start this initiative that I started with high school students. Um, and I like that she's like very into like outreach and like educating the next generation and kind of showing people like a lot. Like when I met with her about this initiative, she told me how like it's very important that we make sure that people know that you can go into science no matter what your background is, like no matter like anything, um, backgrounds, like not school related, school related. Um, and that like, it's really more about like perseverance and like excitement and passion. And I like see her passion a lot and like, just like walking around the halls and like seeing her like also like a role model woman scientist as well.